as we've been mentioning all this week, Showstoppers is coming. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's happening Saturday, February 10th. And where is it happening? Well, All Saints Event Space at 10 Blackburn Avenue with All Saints Event Space. It's Leanne Musa, and uh, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm very good. So you're not an exhibitor or anything like that. No. You, you actually own the location, or, or you're, you're a major part of where it's going to be taking place. That's right. So I brought together the group that purchased what used to be All Saints Anglican Church. Okay. And it's a partnership between local, between, uh, local residents and mm -hmm. businesses, and we're thrilled to have show Showstoppers uh, there on February 10th because it really sort of embodies what we're about okay. as a group. So how long then has it been All Saints event space? So we took possession uh, two years ago, mm -hmm. um, and we have since been sort of gradually improving the space and making it more appropriate to the kind of events that we're running. Mm -hmm. um, entrepreneurs, we love to have local businesses, entrepreneurs in our space. Uh, we host weddings, events, conferences, musicians. Uh, we've had some just phenomenal performances in mm -hmm. there. We have a little cafe that's open uh, seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's licensed. You can stop in there for some like local goodies, and actually, yeah. uh, you know, that sort of it captures what Showstoppers is about too. Is all of our local product and vendors. Okay, and here's a, a picture or two of the the space uh, as well. So, so what is it? Because I know that there's also uh, I think is it St. Bridget's that's downtown as well, which, which is an old church. It seems yeah. like a lot of old churches that are not being used for its primary purpose uh, are now becoming these event spaces. So what is it about old churches? Well, I mean, there's definitely been, so what, what you're seeing here actually is some of these photos, you see sort of the evolution of our space. So this is one of the photos when we first took possession and you'll see the ceiling, for example, is quite dark and overbearing and now it's really lightened up and I think there'll be a photo later of the light and space. So mm -hmm. um, you can see we have a community space here that where there's yoga and dancing and uh, those kinds of things. Um, you know, this, uh, this sort of move away from uh, church space uh, is happening. Really, it's a trend that's happening across the country and across the continent. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of repurposing, adaptive reuse of these old spaces. And, you know, in my mind, these, these places have been community hubs. You know, in this case, this building was built in 1900. Mm -hmm. It's been a community hub for like 120 years. Yeah, of course. And I think um, the opportunity to keep it as a community hub is really what we're trying to do. Okay, so that's very important, obviously, to the owners to keep this very committed, uh, committed to being a, a major part of the community? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so how many events would you say that you have come through uh, in the course of a year at All Saints? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, we're booked... Uh, several times a week so yeah uh, so we've got a lot coming through we've rent we've run 22 weddings this year so 22 for, weddings yeah it was, a, it was a this was a big year because it was really the first year that we sort of had our feet under us mm -hmm. uh, running weddings it's been a really successful really successful year when it comes to weddings I have to ask though I mean so is it more for the reception or is there is does the ceremony still happen in there because it's the we, church we can do all of the above so uh, often people uh, will run their ceremonies and then they will take them, send them downstairs to this beautiful stone room for a cocktail, mm -hmm. and then they come back up for the reception, and we've transformed the room into a din dining space. So it's pretty exciting. I mean, one of the first things we did was move the pews, and that allows us to have more flexibility in the space. I really do love it, and I have been there, and I believe it was for the first Showstoppers that was uh, being held by uh, Catherine and the team. Um, so, so Showstoppers, I mean, why is it so important to have? Because obviously, I mean, there's, there's hundreds of exhibitors that set up, and, and, and obviously we're showcasing your location as well, not only these amazing uh, artisans and, and artists and musicians and everything like that. So we believe in local entrepreneurs. I mean, that's part of what we're about. We're really trying to, our own project really comes from the community, out of the community. And there are so many great, great, great local entrepreneurs in Ottawa. And Catherine Landry's done a phenomenal job of bringing them together through the Ladies Who Lunch Network. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes Showstoppers so successful. Yeah, I do love this. And I do love you were mentioning the, uh, the, the what would you call it, basement to the church, or does it have it not grotto? Is that what well? Used to call actually, it? we call it the lower chapel. Lower chapel, and uh, it's really like a stone facade, and um, yeah. it's it's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of our most popular spaces. Yeah, it's wonderful down there. There's something sort of charming and mysterious, and uh, you don't feel like you're in 2018. That's right. And I mean that in a very respectful way. It's just it's beautiful. Do you ever think about renovating or renovations uh, towards this? So we're moving forward with a redevelopment plan on the 
outside of the church. So the, our goal really is to keep the church, to actually restore the church. And all of our redevelopment plan is towards making, bringing life to a historic space. Mm -hmm. You know, so often we're worried about protecting the bricks and mortar of a space, but you know, we don't think about infusing it with life. And that's really what we're trying to do here. And that's part of why Showstoppers is so important to us. And it's why so many of these other events are really important to us as a community. Okay, what's the best way, uh, when you talk about weddings and all that, is it like a lot of different places where they should probably contact you well in advance? Absolutely, allsaintsottawa.ca. Uh, is our website. Uh, you can give us a call, 613-230-3050, uh, mm -hmm. and we're happy to walk you through the space, let you take a look at some of our packages, um, and honestly, we have birthday parties there. We've had just some some really obscure events as well, so yeah. come talk to us. You want to throw a party? We're, we're the place. Yeah, it looks like pretty cool concerts could be held there as well. And the acoustics are unbelievable. Yeah. It's part of why we wanted to save the space. That really. is super cool. And Showstoppers is going to be packed with people, just like yes. the old days in All Saints. Ag absolutely. Yeah. That's what we're hoping. So come in, take a little tour, see uh, all the local vendors, and then maybe stop by our Guildroom Cafe. You can have a beer and some lunch. And I love that. You can just get your drink on while you're in this old church. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the Guildroom Cafe and much more can be found at allsaintsottawa.ca. Leanne, thank you so much and best of luck in moving forward. And of course, with Showstoppers happening Saturday, February 10th. Thanks so much. The location to be exact, 10 Blackburn Avenue. I'm Dylan Black. Thanks for being here. Have a good day.